Easter has always been one of my favorite holidays while growing up during my childhood. I mean, to get as much candy you wanted, it's like Halloween, but in the spring times. My name is Victoria. I'm currently 22 years old, and I have one, only one creepy event that took place 10 years ago when I was just 12 years old. And this actually happened during Easter. It's still vivid to this day about this. Anyways, when I was 12 years old, my mom took me to the local park for our town's annual egg, egg, egg hunt. I was quite excited. I mean, even when I was first, first, first started doing it, when I was just a toddler, and right now I was a 12-year-old, still quite excited. But I also, we were greeted by a woman who was the organized this egg hunt and her assistant that was addressed as the Easter Bunny. But I, not only that, I even ran into my best friend, Tina. She was also excited to do this big hunt, egg hunt, as always. We were getting a, a basket and we decided to go together to find the eggs so we could get as much as we wanted. During the time, we actually were talking about our plans for the rest of the, the, rest of the holiday and small, small talks. But at some point, we actually got separated. So I was decided if I got to separate from my best friend, I just continued to look for the eggs that I could find. My basket was probably half full about the time, and suddenly I was approached by Easter Bunny. I thought it was the same Easter Bunny that I actually met earlier before this egg hunt started, but I can tell you right now, it was not the same egg, uh, Easter Bunny. He was telling me that that uh, he knew one more other place that he can find more eggs or more candy. I was quite excited, so I started following him without even thinking about it. He took my hand and led me to the parking lot across the park. There was apparently two that I didn't even know and I was aware of until like right then, though. But as I went, we were walking, I could see hearing laughter yelling of kids in distant finding their eggs and I was curious where we were going so I asked him but the bunny said only he said that we were going that he knew a spot where he could found tons of eggs and other snack and other sweets so I was taken to a van when I realized this wasn't the same Easter bunny but when I'd have a close look at him and he told me that I should get inside the van, but I told him I didn't want to go anywhere. But he told me firmly that he had scanned for me. And just before he was about to push me inside, I heard a loud voice behind me. And I turned around as they stood, as did the Easter Bunny. We saw my mom. She was screaming at him to let her daughter go. And he pushed me on the ground. And ran it across around the, the van and and just start driving and peeled off. Luckily for my mom, she remembered the license plate numbers, and I was quite scared. And I was petrified of fear. I was not even crying for a reason I don't even know why. But anyways, Tina gave me some of her eggs to comfort me, in which I appreciate even to this day. And even though this is not relevant, but she's still my best friend. And, uh, well, this egg hunt was cut short after this reveal that was happened, which the organizer and her assistant was quite terrified of. Um, a few days later, um, after Easter, we even learned that a man was caught and he was gone behind bars for many, many years for a kidnapping attempt. I was quite scared, but frankly, even though it was then about the next year I was too old for an Easter hunt, I was still happy to celebrate Easter with my friends and family, even though I can't do the egg hunt anymore. But this particular just only one time, it scared me. So people, be aware.
Easter is just around the corner. And every single time when this holiday is arriving, it will only remind me of one terrifying moment that happened during Easter when I was just 10 years old, about 11 years ago. My name is Cassie. I'm currently 21 years old, and I had the most terrifying, vivid, horrifying Easter event where I was almost kidnapped during an egg hunt. I will tell you exactly what happened. My dad took me to the R to our town's annual Easter egg hunt. I was quite excited. When I was when we arrived at the park, we were meeting tons of other kids as their family. There was especially friends from my school. And especially my friend Mary. We start talking a little bit of just before the egg hunt started. I noticed that my dad were talking to some of the parents and even to the organizer and Easter and the Easter Bunny. I was just really excited. Me and Mary were just, were just talking, just talking to hope to get tons of eggs that they would last to summer. Which, frankly, I it didn't. But it would be fun if it did, though. But as the egg hunt started, me and Mary decided to walk together, and we found a lot of eggs. But we were actually eventually at some point separated, and even we were close friends, and. At first, I tried to find her, but knowing how many kids there were in, in the park and how big the park were, so it was a little bit tricky to find one particular individual since a lot of kids were screaming, yelling, and laughing. So I decided to just focus on myself this time. And as I was looking, a man approached me and said that he had a lot more candy in his car if I wanted. And I should mention this, this was way before I was taught by my parents, or at least my dad, about strange danger warnings. Um, even though this is not relevant, but I was raised by my dad alone, since my, my mom passed away when I was a little bit younger, so... Um, like I said, I didn't even have the concept of strange danger warnings, so I had this almost trustworthy face and I, I could trust anyone. He was probably around the same age as my dad, so so I followed with him the man to his car and uh, and he told me to look in the trunk of the car which has where he had to store the candy. It, he opened it and as I was looking in, sure enough there were candy in there, like at least two full boxes with all kinds of candy like candy bars, lollipops, or basically any type of candy you wanted. But as I was looking, the man was about to push me in when suddenly a loud scream could be heard in distant. The man turned around and I, before even I could even react, the man got punched in the face and dropped to the ground. And when I turned around, it was my dad. Apparently, when I wasn't having, he noticed that me and Mary did walk off. But when Mary came back to, with her to her parents, he saw that I wasn't with her anymore. So he asked her where well, was I. Mary told him, told my dad that we somehow got separated, and that she thought maybe I was still looking for eggs. So he got a little bit worried. So he started looking for me, but he didn't yell for me or anything. He just Thought maybe I was just close by, but when he saw me walking away with this man, he got worried now, so he started running after me. And there was then when we were by his car when he got out. So the man tried to stand up, but my, my dad punched him once again hard enough in the face and and he fell to the ground backwards. On it, and my dad then set top on on his chest to, to prevent him from even to get up. Some people actually saw this happening and called 911. The man couldn't even get up because my dad was 
well, let's say quite big. He was bulky man, like, I don't know exactly how much he weighed by the time, but I would say maybe, I was like, maybe 200, 250 pounds or something like that. But he was like a bodybuilder. And he tried and struggled to even get up and tried to tell him about that, just get off him, so let me go, let him go. But my dad didn't listen. He just remained there and said, be quiet. The police arrived and they arrested the man for attempted kidnapping and I was scolded from that day on that day where I should not be just walk off with complete strangers. But it was also the other day when my dad told me about strange danger warnings and I'm pretty sure even Mary's family parents told her about the strange danger warnings but I can't say for certain since I never actually asked myself. And from what I heard, the man was, had apparently done this before in the past. So I was likely his, the latest target to being a, a victim. But I'm glad that I had this mountain of man of that to protect me. And that was 11 years ago. And since I'm 21 years old now, I have a daughter of my own, and she's just one year old, and I'm going to tell her my story when she is old enough, and I'm definitely going to be telling her about strange danger warnings to teach her, and, of course, to even just to be, well, I'm not going to be like a, like a helicopter parent, but I will be protected mode, like a, a mama bear around my daughter, so... Even despite Easter has always been one of my favorite holidays during a childhood, I want my daughter to have the same experience. To have a good Easter, Christmas, and uh, any other holidays. So, please, always be aware of your surroundings during the Easter, especially if you're your kids. And for just goodness sake, teach your children about stranger danger warnings. It could eventually save their lives and prevent from being kidnapped by a complete stranger. So please, do it.